What's going on guys, when I bandit back again with yet another video talking about more Dragon Ball Fighters character specific changes I would like to see in Dragon Ball Fighters season patch number three. And today I was given Janimba by Brandon Sellers who asked me if I could see what we could do to buff the character. So today's discussion is about Janimba and how he could get these buffs. So Janimba was a character that came out and was definitely hype and I think that I actually most people thought when he first came out that he was pretty bad and there are reasons for this but the character all in all honestly to me is actually pretty good he's one of the more slept on characters within the cast um, I think him as well as Cooler are probably the most slept on tall characters. Obviously you have Broly who is A plus tier to most people. He's very very good, has great zoning, the armor, and just his buttons all around. Broly is pretty decent. But Janimba on the other hand is a tall fuzzyable character who just I guess doesn't quite cut it for people. I think mainly the reason is because the character the character has to have like a lot for him to get a lot. Um, for starters, he has this jumping heavy that is just bad and all around useless. Um, so if I were to start a buff, it would definitely be this. Just give it a knockdown if you're not going to give it any other utility because once you hit it, you, you can't even vanish from it or anything. Like there's nothing you can really do after you land this move. No matter how fast you do a vanish, um, maybe I guess if you spark off of it, nope, you can't even spark off of it. So um, this move is basically useless. There is no utility for it within the air at all. Just knocks your opponent down. And again, like there is no use for this move because it doesn't give you a knockdown in any type of way, no way, shape, or form. Um, if it gave you a bit of a light knockdown, something that allows you for some Oki, it's not even that damaging. It's, you know, quick, simple, um, but if you can get, like, some type of Oki from it, it would definitely give it more utility in that aspect because it, there's no reason for this to, to work like this. Like, there, it just doesn't make sense for them to give a character essentially a useless move because there's no way you can follow it up in any way, shape, or form. So if, if it were up to me, I would make that move a whole lot better. Like, yeah, make it like his down heavy in the air, the teleporting down heavy. At least that has a bit of utility to it. Gives a hard knockdown, and or at least a sliding knockdown, and, and it gives him, you know, hope for something else. Other than this, because I understand that it's you know quick and arcing I mean it's even kind of hard to move with like if you're in the corner and you decide you want to go in with a down like this is this might hit your opponent if they are crouching right or this might not hit your opponent if they are crouching and that's just a way for you to whip something and get hit but I mean as if they do decide they want to get hit by it and it's a hard knockdown move at least you have that okie afterwards to set up for for certain things like this green orb here which I think is actually pretty good right um, obviously this is one of his his big starter TOD damaging moves which doesn't really have too much utility sometimes um, this is this is Janimba's Oki this thing can be reflected um, but the timing is is weird um, maybe if you can choose well you can maybe if it were like Maybe if it were able to be done on the ground, because as of right now, he just has this command grab on the ground. Um, so maybe if they, like, see, I don't, well, I guess it being an air move has to stay an air move. But if there was some way to make this better, I wouldn't know what it is. I feel like most Janemba mains would. I think this move is pretty good already, honestly, because you can choose when, it, when to detonate it. Um, it is a good Oki move. If your opponent moves off of it, you can choose when to detonate it, like I said. And it just gives good pressure. It's kind of like Piccolo's Orb, but um, smaller. And again, you can choose when to detonate it. So 
Um, that move is pretty okay. Other than that, I think the character is pretty good, honestly. He's, he's really decent. Has great buttons. He has a Bardock-like slam on his second hit of the auto combo that brings you back down just like Bardock's does. And hell, it even has more range on it the way it swings up the way it does. So the character is pretty pretty well off in, in his buttons. So I don't think he really needs a buff on those at all. Um, because honestly, a, a, lot of, a lot of characters, if they don't have good buttons, then they kind of just fall short in in terms of uh in terms of being good because um it it's it sucks a little bit but it's whatever um i do think maybe i don't know just too well could but possibly buff him give him that opportunity for a uh for a high low mix up because as, as it stands right now he has a a light 2l that looks like a low um you can you can definitely rapid fire it a little bit but as it's just i don't know just give him a 2l that'll definitely make the character a lot better i guess um other than that i think most of his other moves are great this this move here is really really good damn near full screen um it could be a little faster i guess because a lot of people say you can bait out super dash with this but it, it's not really that true you have to definitely know your opponent is about to super dash and making it work is kind of tough sometimes so if this was a bit faster i would definitely make it would definitely make the character a whole lot better i know this character kind of just came out so um i think there's a lot that is unexplored with him a lot of people again called him trash and decided to move on and then of course the hype for Gogeta was coming so um he was definitely dropped fairly easily after coming out um but i know a lot of other people actually gave him gave him a little bit of props when it came to uh what type of character he was because i do think he's one of the more special characters that can still be explored way way more than he has been as of right now other than that i think his assist could maybe use a buff make it at least three key blast or something like that yes it would make it a little bit more like vegeta's but as of right now the startup on it is kind of bad so maybe if it had better startup because your opponent your opponent is reflecting this thing every time they're super dashing through it um if they also made it had the possibility to uh be tracking so if it homed in on the opponent it would be better because as it stands right now um if your opponent is moving around in neutral and you throw this out it's just really really bad um it doesn't really have much uh potential to it other than being a combo um assist like most people use this this uh this assist for combo purposes only and not many people use uh janimba anyway but he does work really well with uh gogeta so that's pretty cool but as it stands right now his assist is just really really bad um and that's one of the main gripes i feel like a lot of people have with him um kind of like the krillin effect i think if krillin had a better assist he would be a better character overall but as it stands right now he he's stuck with um two rocks and Janimba is stuck with two key blasts that don't really mean nothing other than being used as a combo assist extension so other than that I think the character is well off um, other, I was about to say other than that again but yeah I think the character is really well off he just needs a little bit of touching up and he'll he'll rise up the ranks for sure because like I said he has great buttons he just needs um, to have like a better assist this move could be a little bit faster um like even even the uh even the ex version isn't really that quick um feels just as uh <laughs> feels even slower than the than the uh light version it's probably not but kind of feels it um but yeah it, it could he could definitely use some tuning up because I again I don't think the character is bad. He just can he can be fuzzy, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, he just he just needs a little bit a little bit more to him. Because as it stands right now, he's just he he's just 
a big fuzzy maniac that could use a little bit of touching up and I feel like a lot of you can definitely say if you are a Janimba main you can definitely uh, say what you think you would want to be buffed on the character because as for me I think I think he's pretty solid um, I just think people need to explore him a little bit more um, because again he hasn't been out for too long he just needs he just needs a little bit more love from the community if he wasn't fuzzyable I feel like more people would be using him but that is a lot of the cast for me like most of the big characters I feel like people would use if they weren't able to be fuzzy and that maybe that's just my opinion but I do want to I do want to know what you guys think about Janimba how would you buff the character and if you don't even like the character how would you nerf him um, let me know down in the comment section below also let me know uh, let me know which character you would like for me to do next on buffs and or nerfs if you don't like a character that is always greatly appreciated you can end up within the video your comment being shown if you decide that you would like to uh participate within these these videos so anyways guys again if you enjoyed this please like comment and subscribe Please remember that God and anime are always on your side. Please come join the bandit army. That's all I got for y'all. Peace out.